Hello everyone, Meghan forces huge pressure with this on the royals. I honestly don't know where Meghan gets the courage. She is a nobody, and yet she dares to demand so much from the royals and the British taxpayer. Isn't that ridiculous? I know the following information may make you angry. However, I am not reporting this to increase the reputation of that woman. Instead, I want to expose the crimes of Meghan and Harry. We cannot let her deceive us any longer. Let's boycott her on a large scale. It is possible that some individuals may consider this to be a blessing, and it is not for me to comment on that. But we are discussing Meghan Markle and her return to play an important role in the Invictus Games, which are really well liked. In any case, if you are residing in Vancouver, which is located in the stunning nation of Canada, you will, of course, be able to anticipate this happening in the following year. This was the spectacle that Germany had the pleasure of witnessing a few years ago. Since its inception more than a decade ago, the Invictus Games have had a great deal of assistance from His Majesty the King, as well as, of course, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, Prince William and Catherine the Prince of Wales. There is little doubt that she had a significant role in providing Harry with the bravery, confidence and capacity to continue forward in order to make this endeavor a successful endeavor. Over the course of the past several years, the Invictus Games have, without a doubt, acquired a certain degree of irreparable damage. Naturally, we discovered not too long ago that the documentary series Invictus Heart, which is available on Netflix, has not yet been honored with any awards or received any prizes. Unfortunately, the ratings were not particularly impressive. As I mentioned earlier, my point is that if it had been made as interesting as, for example, the Olympics, then people would have been interested in it. The participants should not be the focus of attention. None of this has anything to do with Harry. It would be wonderful to witness some of the difficulties that they have conquered. Personally, I believe they are just fantastic. Also, you should realize that these young ladies and gentlemen have a great deal of endurance. They have my admiration for it. However, if you are in Canada, you can undoubtedly anticipate Meghan Markle to parade in front of the veterans while wearing something that is not proper. This is something that you can look forward to. I am, of course, acting in jest. Nevertheless, in our part of the world, that is correct. In the year 2027, in Birmingham, which has recently been selected as the city that would host the Invictus Games after not much of a push was made. And it is going to be fascinating to see how this plays out because clearly the government is claiming that we are in a crisis about our financial resources. Insufficient funds are available to us. On the other hand, it is not yet clear how we are going to come up with the funds necessary to put on the Invictus Games. It is possible that this may be the result of contributions or the expansion of the bank account that the corporation currently possesses for Invictus. Who will know? What is fascinating, however, is that I can tell you from a reliable source that it appears like Harry will not be taking Meghan to Birmingham unless the security detail is resolved. This is something that I can tell you. Honestly, do you believe this? Do you believe that Harry will not take Meghan to Birmingham? If you do, comment number one or vice versa. If you don't believe it, comment number two. Now, there are many who could argue that this is something that should be cheered and shouted about, probably even more than the games. And, of course, I'm joking about here. However, on the other hand, they are making it abundantly clear that unless His Majesty the King and everyone else finally sits down at a table and actually give in to what they require in terms of, well, you know, their security, it could, of course, be resolved by the government over here. If they do decide to crumble and give in to Harry and Meghan's demands for security around the world that is fully funded by the British taxpayer, then they will not be able to achieve their goals. If Harry gets up in front of all of those people who are upset because they are struggling to make ends meet due to a cost of living issue, I wonder how that is going to go down among the throngs at Invictus Sports Complex. Without a doubt, over the course of the past several years, it will be a sound 
that he has become somewhat accustomed to. Certainly, Meghan is totally unnecessary. If Harry cannot come without her, then Harry needs to go to some clinic instead of the Invictus Games and try to fix his head. The couple must inform those people who run the games so that they can find a new person to replace Harry temporarily or permanently. The royal family should not at all get involved in any security discussions. The government and other authorities are responsible for security issues. A useless couple of grifters cannot and should not have a say in any matter. Harry can stay home. He is not needed in order to make the game successful. Besides, William can take over and no one will miss the grifters. Do you think that William doesn't have more than too much work and worries? He has had to clean Harry's messes all his life, and now is time to leave Harry alone with his messes. The leaders of the Invictus Games must take responsibility and remove Harry, who has now very clearly told that he will not take responsibility and find somebody capable of replacing him. Megan has nothing to do with Invictus. She's just decided to make it all about her as always. We absolutely don't want her here in Canada. And if Harry decides not to take her to Britain because of security, well, lucky them is all I can say. She doesn't belong there. Stay home, look after your kids for a change, and save Invictus a lot of money. You're no longer working at Royals. This is the price of freedom. The king could always tell them to stop this silliness, or he will drop MI5 and MI6 dossier on Meghan. That might shut them up for 10 minutes. Certainly, everyone knows the Invictus Games have now become a catwalk for the wife's inappropriate fashion choices and a platform for their unwanted word salad speeches. It was the only positive PR they could count on. Now, not even that, especially not that, as they are using wounded veterans to profit off of. There is no pressure on the royals whatsoever, unless the king capitulates, which I confidently expect him to not do. If he does, the pressure upon the king and the royal family will increase many thousandfold. The pressure of a disgusted country. The veterans are struggling because of this lying, scamming gold digger taking their money and destroying the Invictus Games. Now people won't have anything to do with the Invictus Games because of the gold digger. Yes, that's sad. The veterans are struggling because that lying gold digger stole their money and turned it into her own fashion show for fame. Now the veterans have lost everything the Invictus Games were popular and raised money in the past. And this lying, scamming gold digger has destroyed that like everything else. She destroys that she touches, including both families. She should lose the title and be sued for fraud, false accusations and her fake pregnancy. Harry has shown that under his patronage, he's ill-suited to the job, particularly when he lets Meghan charge ahead, as always, as if she's royal. Their misuse of Invictus funds for first-class travel, accommodation, clothing, and other expenses should be under scrutiny too. A root and branch audit of the Invictus Games accounts should be very interesting, and the results made public. The Invictus Games in Vancouver should be about the athletes and not about Harry and Meghan with all her bad choices of fashion and hogging the limelight from the athletes. The best thing that could happen is to enjoy the games, and when the gruesome twosome gets up or appears, simply everyone turns their backs. They might get the message then. Until that happens, they will carry on regardless. I feel bad for them. They shouldn't have to deal with the bad press they get because of these two. I wish the Invictus Foundation members would vote Henry out and get a patron who really cares about the veterans. They deserve that much. It's not as if he does not get security. He gets quite adequate security every time he comes to the UK. He is no longer a senior royal, so how can he expect top security? Even Princess Anne does not get that. Old Meghan certainly did break our beautiful late Queen's heart. I loathe elder abusers, and Harry was so weak going along with it all, and yet she did nothing to rein them in, remove titles, or anything else. This should have been taken care of immediately after the 12-month period, to decide about coming back to work. The late queen, who was mourning her husband of numerous years and who we later found out had bone cancer, was supposed to take on more stress and strip the gruesome twosome. Got it? 
Maybe she had other things on her mind that were more pressing, but she also wanted to give Harry an escape if he needed it. I don't think she anticipated how much Meghan had gotten to Harry, but with her in mourning and going through bone cancer, that could be forgiven. Don't you think? Meghan is a nobody important that she needs security. She was not born royal, she just married a royal who is a loser. They quit being royal when moved to Montecito to have peace and a quiet life. They don't know what they want. Nothing seems to ever happen to these two. With all their pilfering of funds, they still have their titles and he still has Invictus. Deplorable. Here is a share from a Canadian. As a Canadian, I value the real and heartfelt contributions that William and Catherine make to the world. Harry is not more popular than the real royals here. Most Canadians that I know wish they would join the next space mission and allow Invictus to find a worthy patron for the February Games in Canada. Let's make sure our voices are heard. Really, no one is on Meghan and Harry's side. Not only the British, but many countries around the world have seen their fake faces. I wish these two would get sorted out by the royal family, take all titles away, and then forget about them. The way things are going, I hope Harry doesn't come back here on his own with his tail between his legs. He needs to spend the rest of his life in Africa, doing good work with the animals for the rest of his life, and allow us to enjoy the real royal family. Do you agree with me? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to support me by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Now, goodbye and see you again.